Dr. Laura Scrimger had never met a female cardiothoracic surgeon until she met Dr. Amy Fiedler. I think it's a real problem for women in medicine in all fields, but particularly in surgery. Scrimger is a fellow working under Fiedler at UCSF Medical Center in California, and they are among just a handful of women in their field. I get mistaken for a nurse, I get mistaken for a physical therapist, one time for food service. I mean, pretty much anything other than being the cardiac surgeon. A recent study shows that women were 32% more likely to die if treated by a male surgeon rather than a female one. Men were also more likely to die in the hands of male surgeons. Even just to have one person to look up to makes, can make all the difference for some people. They say getting more women in leadership at hospitals can lead to better family leave policies and more opportunities for female physicians. Patients can help by requesting female doctors. We're thinking about and trying to figure out how we can get more women, get more people of color, get more diversity at the higher ends of academic leadership. We need more women, we need more black and brown people to come into medicine. Dr. Charlene Blake was the cardiac anesthesiologist on this team that made history in December, believed to be the first all-female heart transplant team. Their group photo calling attention to the lack of diversity in medicine. I had to look around the room. I was like, oh, my, we, we, we were. Look at that. We're all women here. This is incredible. I haven't seen this before. Every single person in that room that day that we did that heart transplant deserved to be there and is a high performer and was providing the absolute best care to that patient. And I think that's really inspiring. Nora O'Donnell, CBS News, Washington.